So I've been getting a lot of you guys asking me about this topic right here. So I think it's about time I share with all you guys, shall we? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Chia and I am a real estate agent here in Sacramento and El Grove area. I help people buy and sell real estate. I love educating them. I love entertaining them because buying a house should be fun. So I'm all about fun. But if this is your first time here, you might want to consider subscribing because I make daily content like this every single day just to entertain you guys. So. Hopefully, you subscribe. All right, so the number one thing I always get asked is, Chia, how much did you get paid from this house? Is it $10,000? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It is so funny when I speak to a client and they truly believe that every time I sell a house, I automatically get $10,000 in my bank account. Ooh, if that was the truth, I'd be living high right now. But that is not the case. Not any realtor out there makes a guaranteed $10,000 on a house unless it's like in the million dollar ranges. Yes, that's true. That's right. Realtors don't get paid as much as you guys all think. It's funny because sometimes I'll run across a client that always asks me to give up my whole commission or half of my commission to them because they decide to use me as their agent and for me it's like you know how much i get paid from this house so in this video i want to address that so that way you guys know exactly how much i get paid from a house that's maybe priced around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's like a medium-sized home here in sacramento you know like a three bedroom two bath two car garage in a okay area so let's break it down so that way you guys will all know. And hopefully, after watching this video, if you're already working with a realtor and you've done this before, give them some love, all right? Because they hustle for that money right there. And for all you guys that do not know, realtors do not get paid by the houses they show. They don't get paid by the mileage that they drive. They only get paid when you buy a house using them. That's right. It's 100% commission based. So, without further ado, let's jump right on to this topic that you guys all been waiting for. So, a realtor makes, depending on how much commission that the seller is going to be paying them on that house, can vary. But just for today's purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep it at 2.5%. So, that way you guys know how to do the easy math. That sounds fair, right? 2.5% is the normal average rate that a seller pays a buyer's agent. So, I'm just going to share that point across right now. If you're getting paid more or less, just do the math. But for this video purposes, I'm only going to do it based off of 2.5%. Alright? If... Let me, let me bring my calculator out. I'm Asian, but then like that doesn't mean I know everything on, on the top of my head. And if you were thinking that because I'm Asian, I should know math, then you are stereotyping me. You need to check your heart. You need to check your heart. All right, so $250,000 house, okay? And if you, this is how you would do the math to determine how much a realtor gets paid on that house. So let's say, remember 2.5%, right? So 0.025. That equals to $6,250, but that's not how much I get paid, okay? Because as you can see, when you are just a real estate agent, you're not a broker, meaning that you are parking your license under a broker, depending on how that client came about to meet you, will also differentiate the payment amount and the split. So when you park your license under a broker, there's fees you gotta pay. And if the client came from the company, being provided by the company, then there's a split. Let's just say, for this video purposes, let's just say this client was introducing me because they saw HP Real Estate's advertisement somewhere. I called her up, next thing you know, we're talking on the phone, she likes me or he likes me. I like them, where poor starts going on, they just want me to be their realtor. Most cases, that is what happens. Now, I'm working with them, we find them a home, 
But when it comes down to payday, once they've purchased the home, it boils back to the beginning of how this client was introduced to me. And because this client was introduced to me through the brokerage advertisement, there's a 50-50 split. So if we now times 50% by $6,250, that is 3125 dollars and that is not even how much I get paid too. Because there's also admin fees and also if this client was referred to me through like an inside sales agent that we hired, then there goes another 5% from the $6,000 minus off of my appointment. So let's just say this was an ISA that sent this out. I'm just gonna refer to a inside sales agent as ISA, just to make it simple, okay? So now, with the $625, you now times that by 5%, which is 0.05. So $312.50 is going straight to the ISA, right? So remember that number, 312, okay? 312 is minus off from my $3,125 split conversion, okay? So, minus 312.5. Now, the total amount is $2,812.50. But remember, there's also admin fees for my assistants and also all these other fees. So let's just call them admin fees. That's $400. Every broker may vary, but I'm just sharing with you guys my personal fees. So let's just say minus $400. Now I'm left with $2,412.50. That's not even the whole amount because, because this is my own self-employed business, I don't get taxed right off the bat. I get taxed at the end of the year. So some people may look at this and say, man, I made $2,400 non tax and that is not correct maybe may, may fall around 10 to 20 percent income bracket let's just say it's a 10 percent okay so now you times that away from that amount i'm left with two thousand one hundred seventy one dollars and twenty five cents that's right so from a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar house i made two thousand one hundred seventy one dollars and twenty five cents now, some of you guys are probably saying, man, Chia, that's a lot of money for just a house, right? Because all you really did was just show them the house, open the house, and that was it. Right? Right? Wrong. In order for a home to successfully close, there are a lot of things that goes behind the scene that the client doesn't really get to see. Like the negotiation process. How did the offer get accepted? Did the agent decide to take a cut from the seller paying him? Was he able to like articulate the value of their team that they were going to be able to get this thing closed? That's why they got the offer accepted. How did they get the offer accepted? The negotiation process takes a while. And then after the offer does get accepted, there's all these due diligence that you still have to do you got to order home inspections you got to order like title fees you got to order all these home warranty invoices you got to order bank appraisals and then after you get all those report back you got to bring it up to the seller to see if there's anything they need to address before we can move forward to the final close so all of this takes about probably an average 30 to 45 days, depending on who you bank with and depending on how many hiccups there may be. Let's just say it's 30 days. That's a whole month to get paid for just $2,175.25. Some of you guys are probably thinking, man, if this is really how much you get paid, then why do you continue doing it? You could be getting paid more doing something else. Here's where the entrepreneur spirit in me comes out. You see, when it's your own business and it's 100% commission based, you have to hustle now. But without me going further into that hustle game, that's probably going to be for another video. I'm curious now. If you guys are interested in me making a video about the hustle game, maybe I could talk more about that. So if that's something you guys want to see, comment down below, hustle game. That's it. Hopefully you guys got something from this. If you never knew how a realtor gets paid, now you do and if you're working with a realtor right now and you're thinking they get paid a lot of money think again because now you know the math because i do know that a bunch of you guys that are watching me right now are probably thinking 
man, I don't feel comfortable asking my realtor how much he gets paid and all that. And he may not be telling me the truth. Well, I'm telling you the truth. Here's a conversion. If you know all the percentages and the fees that they pay that's involved with the transactions, etc., you're going to know the outcome of how much he's going to get paid. So there you go. Next time when you see your realtor, if you were the one that were one of those people, give your realtor a hug for me. Just give them a hug. Let them know how much you appreciate them because it's a hustle. It is, this industry is a hustle. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys got something from it. Um, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing because I upload content like this every single day just to keep you guys entertained, inspired, motivated, and know a little bit more about buying and selling real estate. My name is Chia and I will catch you guys tomorrow.